This week in history, August 17th, 1998, marks 21 years since President Clinton admitted in both a deposition and presidential address to an affair with Monica Lewinsky. Indeed, I did have a relationship with Ms. Lewinsky that was not appropriate. In fact, it was wrong. It constituted a critical lapse in judgment and a personal failure on my part for which I am solely and completely responsible. I misled people, including even my wife. I deeply regret that. In 1994, conservative Kenneth Starr was appointed to head the Whitewater investigation, a probe into Bill and Hillary Clinton's Arkansas real estate dealings in the 1970s. That same year, ex-Arkansas state employee Paula Jones sued President Clinton for sexual harassment, claiming he exposed himself to her in a hotel room in 1991. Ken Starr was granted permission to look into this as well. In 1997, the Jones lawyers wanted to establish Clinton had a habit of inappropriate sexual behavior with female staff. Through an anonymous tip, Jones's lawyers were told ex-White House intern and Pentagon employee Monica Lewinsky had had an affair with the president between 1995 and 97. On January 7, 1998, Jones's lawyers subpoenaed Lewinsky, who denied the affair in a sworn affidavit. On January 12, Lewinsky's Pentagon co-worker and confidant Linda Tripp betrayed Lewinsky by giving Kenneth Starr 20 hours of taped phone calls between herself and Lewinsky. On January 16th, Attorney General Janet Reno allowed Kenneth Starr to add the Lewinsky scandal into his investigation. The Jones lawyers then subpoenaed Clinton, who also denied the Lewinsky affair under oath. However, Clinton reportedly did admit to a one-time affair with Jennifer Flower in 1977, despite Flower's claim of a 12-year affair. The Lewinsky scandal broke in the media on January 17th, leading Clinton to publicly deny their affair on January 26th. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. A federal judge ruled that the Jones lawyers couldn't look into the Lewinsky matter, but Kenneth Starr could. And in April of 98, the Jones lawsuit case was dismissed by a judge. By July, Lewinsky began cooperating with Kenneth Starr's investigation in exchange for prosecutorial immunity. By August 3rd, Kenneth Starr requested a sample of Clinton's blood for a DNA test to determine if semen stains on a dress of Lewinsky's belonged to Clinton. It did, meaning Clinton lied under oath. On August 17th, Clinton finally admitted on tape to independent counsel Kenneth Starr that he did have an affair with Lewinsky, despite denying their relationship in his Paula Jones lawsuit deposition, and that night he admitted it to the nation in a presidential address. In November 1998, Paula Jones dropped her lawsuit in exchange for $850,000 for Clinton, who admitted nothing. By December of 1998, Clinton was impeached by the House of Representatives for obstruction of justice and perjury. In February of 1999, Clinton was acquitted by the Senate after it failed to reach the two-thirds majority needed for impeachment. Following the scandal, Clinton achieved the highest approval ratings of any post-war president with a stunning 73% favorability, displaying a disconnect between Clinton's case in the court of law and the court of public opinion.